Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, good evening. Let's see. Please. Solo quedamos dos, Esther, estamos un rato acá. Okay, people, how are you tonight? Hi. Hi. Hello, Tati. Hello. Hello, Esther. How are you? 
Cesar, hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Nancy. Hi, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Good, very good. Very good. Okay, excellent. We're about to start. Just give me a second and I have to turn off this. Okay. Okay, welcome one more time to our English Corporativo class. Uh, we would like to see if we can do this activity to start. Let me share the screen. Vamos a ver si nos funciona. Okay, we have how many students we have right now? Tati, Cesar, Jesse, Nancy, Esther, Roberto, and Veronica. I want to see if we can work on this. Okay, how good are you with vocabulary about animals in English? Now, can we play this game? Look at this. Look at the screen, please. We're going to have two teams. I'm going to play the quiz. Okay. Okay, to play, to make um, two teams here, how can we do it? Okay, I think we can do it. We're going to play boys versus girls. Okay? Okay. Okay. Oh. okay. Let's see. Let's start with boys because boys, boys are just two or three. Girls are more. Boys, <laughs> we have Vladimir, Roberto, and Cesar. And girls, we have Tati, Jesse, Nancy, Veronica, wow, Senia, Noemi, and Esther. <laughs> I know you can do it, boys. Okay, ready? I will ready? give you, uh, what? No more than five seconds to respond. Okay? Are you watching the screen? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so boys. Number one, you have to tell me the animal, what animal is. You're going to see the, the letters, but not in order. You have to put them in order and tell me the name of the animal. Okay? Let's see. Number one, ooh, what animal is? One <laughs> for 25 points. What animal oh, is, boys? Wow, that's difficult. <laughs> difficult. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you give up? Yeah. <laughs> uh, 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 I don't One, know. two, 
That's idea. No idea. Let's check. Hedgehog. What is that? Hedgehog. <laughs> what is that? Ah, write, write it down and then check later. Check. I think it's something like a pig, but okay. I'm sorry. Oops. No points. Okay, girls. Now it's your turn, girls. Okay, boys, one more time. It's not my fault. It's just the, the website. Oh, okay. okay, this is not too bad. It's not gato in Spanish, okay? <laughs> Go uh -huh. What? Go out. Yes, let's check goat. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay, girls. Now your turn again. Ah, rabbit. Yeah. Rabbit. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Boys, ready? Yes. Okay. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Here. Hey, girls Here. are helping you, huh? No, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, bird. Okay, girls, <laughs> your turn, girls. Fly, 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 fly. Yeah, check. Yes, okay, good. Hey, not too far. Okay, boys, your turn. Ready? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, boys. One, two, boys. Well, three, before boys. Four, no boys. Well, the Yeah, whale, but it's for boys. Whale. Way no, okay. no. no let's no, open no let's open the barones. Way way. I'm sorry, boys. Okay, girls, are you ready? Yes. Oh. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, boys, your turn. Chita, chita. Yes. yes, let's check. Cheetah. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, yeah. girls, your turn. Hmm. Okay. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. <laughs> let's okay. check. Kitten. What is a kitten? It's a baby cat. It's a baby cat. Oops. No points. Okay, boys. Ready? Mm -hmm. Interesting. One. Two. Come on, boys. Three. Four. Knockout. No. Parrot. <laughs> parrot, yes. Parrot, I'm sorry, yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah. Parrot. Okay, girls, one more. Wow. So easy. <laughs> okay, good. Okay, boys. Ready? Yes. Hmm. Uh, shark. Yes. Shark. Shark. Oh, shark. shark. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, girls. Ah, it's good. Sheep. Ah, let's check. Sheep. Yeah, sheep. Okay, boys, the last one, boys, you can do it. 
Okay, okay boys. Oh. Reno. Ah. Reno. 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 Okay. Oops. You can win, boys. You can win. Okay, girls. It's your chance. The last one. Here goes. Oh. Cheetah. Cheetah. Yeah, the same again. Oh. Cheetah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> You're the winners. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Okay, you can go to this this website. It's interesting. Bamboozly. Okay, good. Uh, this has a lot of games. Well, last class uh, we finished talking about some and any. Let's take a look to, to that grammar one more time to refresh the last topic that we studied. And I gave you an exercise and we're going to check it. Soon. Remember, uh, we said that we use uh, any for, or let me ask you, can we use any for questions? Negative questions? Yes. Okay, for questions only? Can we use it? Mm -hmm. oh, no, only no, for questions. Can we so can for use any and some for questions. Oh, we can use it for questions. Yes. Yes. Can we use any for negative sentences? Yes. 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 See? Any. So we use any for questions and for negative sentences. And some. Can we use some for questions? Yes. yes. Yes, we can use some for questions. Can we use some for affirmative sentences? Yes. yes. Yes, okay. We use some for questions and affirmative sentences. We also talk about count nouns, which are nouns that we can count. For example, eggs, sandwiches, we can count. One egg, two eggs, three eggs. And non-count nouns are nouns of things we cannot count. Like bread. Bread is like a kind of food. We cannot count that. Okay. And um, we had an exercise and we are going to check it with the use of some and any. Okay. Let's see. Number one, I don't need any money because I'm going to bring my lunch to school. What about number two? He doesn't have any, any, pens. any pens. Okay, let me write it here. Any pens. But I have some pants. Some pants. Okay, good. Our teacher, our teacher didn't give us any, any homework, homework yesterday. yesterday. Any homework Work. yesterday. Good. I'm tired. Do we have? Some time to take a nap. Some time to take a nap. Okay. Number five, do they have? Some, some library cards. Some library cards. Remember, we can but also it, use it any. It can be some in, uh -huh. yes. Yes, okay, let me, let me. Do that. We can write in all the questions. We can write some or any. Okay. 
Do they have some library cards? Or do they have any library cards? No, they don't have? No, they don't have any. 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 Good. Paul wants, number six, Paul wants to buy some new shoes. Some new shoes. Number seven, excuse me, I need some information, some information about the flight to Boston. Okay, some information about the flight to Boston. Eight, I don't have any paper. Any paper, but Mary has. But Mary has some. 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 Good. Number nine, Mr. Smith has some, some questions. Some questions that he wants to ask you. Number ten, they have some apples. Some apples. But they don't have any, any, banana. any bananas. Eleven, I'm sorry, but we don't have some any more. more. Some more. Any? It's, it's negative. Yeah. Ah. Uh, any more tickets. tickets. Uh, Thomas Reed. Some interesting books last month. I bought some, some milk and sugar at the supermarket. Any? And some, some sugar. Some, some. Both are affirmative. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, let me. Do you have some coins? No, some coins. Any, any. Do you have some? Any, 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 or any, mm -hmm. no, okay. I have any, no, I have any, 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 Mm, do you have some coins for us? No, I have some. No, but this should be I don't have. I don't have any. Any. Yeah, that's it. I don't have any. Okay. The last one. No, se me va a mover todo, pero vamos a ver. I need the last one. Some. Some help with my homework. Yeah. There's some help with my homework. Okay, I'm going to send these answers to WhatsApp so you can have the, the answers. The exercise. Very good. Any question with this? Teacher. Ajá. Uh -huh. Una pregunta. ¿Por qué lleva en las 5 y en las 14 este, la, las alternativas? Ya sea son y any. ¿Por qué las dos, teacher? En cualquiera. Porque puede usar cualquiera. Incluso aquí en la 4, que es pregunta. O sea, uh -huh. En las preguntas, usted puede usar cualquiera de los dos. Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Okay. Okay. Puede ser usar cualquiera de ellas. Ok, muy bien. Que según no entendí, para las negativas tenemos que usar uh, any y any. para las, bueno... Preguntas normales o que le. Sí, sí, preguntas normales podría decirse, usamos some. For questions, we can use some or any. Uh, ajá. For affirmative sentences, some. For negative sentences, any. 
Ok, thank you. Penny significa... Ninguna. Ok, very good. Now, uh, let's take a look to this conversation. The title is Fish for Breakfast. I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. Watch the video, please, and listen to this conversation. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Yes, Japan and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam. Jelly. Japan. Fish. Rice. Soup. Pickles. Green tea. Mexico. Eggs. Beans. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. Larry, you may watch this video as many times as necessary. I would also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Okay, can you please turn on your microphones? We're going to practice this vocabulary. The question is, what do you have for breakfast? Can you repeat, please? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? What do you have for breakfast? 
The U.S. The U.S. The U.S. The U.S. Eggs. 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 Bacon. 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 Toast with butter. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Orange juice. Coffee. Coffee. Ham. Jam. 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 Jelly. Jelly. Japan. 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 Fish. 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 Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. 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 Tea. Green tea. tea. Mexico. 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 Eggs. 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 Beans. Beans. Tortillas. Tortillas. Fresh fruit. Fresh fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Okay. And we have this conversation about breakfast. Let's practice as well. Repeat after me, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Let's have breakfast, have breakfast together, together on, Sunday. on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. Okay, come, come, to, my come house. to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. My family, My family always, always has, has a Japanese-style breakfast, breakfast, breakfast on Sundays. On Sunday. Really? What do you have? Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. We usually Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Fish for breakfast. Sometimes we have salad too. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast. But I like to try new things. Okay, now, any question? No questions. No questions. Okay. La eh, teacher, la pronunciación de inter, interesting, ¿cómo se pronuncia, perdón? Exacto, así como lo dijo. Interesting. 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 Sí, la fuerza de voz está aquí. Interesting. Interesting. Con true, sorry, con true, true, interesting, o como es, interesting, 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 ah, interesting, okay, ya, pero la fuerza tiene que estar aquí, interesting, interesting. 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 Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Okay, I have an exercise for you. I have an activity for you. In WhatsApp, you have this, uh, you have the conversation too. 
So I'm going to send you to small groups and I want you to practice the conversation, okay? First, you are going to practice the conversation to minimum two times, okay? And then I want you to check these statements true or false according to the conversation, okay? Okay. Okay, let me send you to the small groups. Number 11, we're going to have four groups. Okay, join the group and uh, practice the conversation. No, I, may, I think I'm gonna make five groups. Practice the conversation and check true or false to these statements. See you in seven minutes.
Welcome back. Welcome. Where's the rest? Okay, they are coming. Okay, so let's check. Number one says they are having breakfast on Saturday. Is that true or false? False. 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 Why? Because they have breakfast on Sunday. Okay. Mm -hmm. On Happy Sunday. Breakfast on Sunday. Exactly. Number two, Kumiko's family sometimes has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. What about that? True. 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 It's true. true. Somebody say false. False. Why, Senia? Always. Oh. Senia says false. Yeah. Why? True or false? Huh? Yes, it's false. False. Yes. What do you false. think, uh, Veronica? <laughs> True or false? Number true, two. True. 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 Janet? Number two. Oh, true or false? Anya? False. False. Why? Because families always has a Japanese style. Ah, that's right. Not sometimes. Always. Okay. Good. Three. They usually have fish, rice, and soup for breakfast. True. True. True or false? It's true. 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 Okay. Four. They never have salad for breakfast. False. 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 Why? False. Because sometimes. Because sometimes they have salad. Ah, because sometimes they have salad for breakfast. <laughs> They always have coffee for breakfast. False. False. Why? False. Green, green tea, they say green tea. You put my green tea. Uh, they always have always have green tea. Green tea. Okay. Green tea. And the last one, Sarah never eats fish for breakfast. True. 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 Okay. True. What about you guys? Do you eat fish for breakfast? No. No, right? I don't like fish for breakfast. Uh, no. I never eat fish for breakfast. Yeah, I never eat fish never. for breakfast. Never. Never. Okay, what do you eat for breakfast? Uh, what do you eat for bread, breakfast? Eggs, beans. Okay, one by one, only one, only one. Who starts? <laughs> Let me ask to... Okay, Tati está levantando la mano. What, what do you usually have for breakfast, Tati? Uh, usually... I eat eggs and beans and with cheese or cream and bread. Now, okay. And, and coffee. <laughs> coffee, okay. Good. What about you, uh, Jesse? What do you have for breakfast? Uh, coffee and cookies. 
Coffee and cookies only? Only. Yes. My <laughs> God. <laughs> yes, yes. Fitness. Okay. Fitness. Yeah, totally fitness. And you, Cesar, what yes. do you have for breakfast? Cesar. Cesar. No. Hola, hola, perdón. Don't leave the class. No. <laughs> what do you have for breakfast? Uh, see, you were not paying attention. <laughs> Me, teacher. Gotcha. Okay, Janet, what do you have for breakfast? I bake I breakfast and air and pancake. Okay. okay. Uh, cheese. Okay. Coffee and milk. Ah, okay. And uh, sweet bread. Sweet bread. Only. Uh, only. 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 <laughs> 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 Always pupusas. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, what about Roberto? What do you have for breakfast, Roberto? Okay, usually um, eggs, uh -huh. pancakes, uh -huh. coffee, and an apple. An apple, okay, yeah. very, very <laughs> healthy. <laughs> okay, what about, how do you say platano? Banana. 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 Mm -hmm. mm? Is another word more specific? Rich. Fritas. <laughs> plantain. Uh, plantain. Plantain. Fried plantain. Mm -hmm. Do you like fried plantain for breakfast? Fried plantain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Plantain es cuando ya está frito. No, no, no. El, el, el plátano. Plátano. Ah, Ajá, lo, que, plátano. lo que pasa es que nosotros lo conocemos como plátano a otro y guineo a otro. Yes. Uh, yeah. Entonces, yes. el plátano, plátano sería plantain. Plantain, ya, yeah, plantain. plantain. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. Banana ¿Sí? es guineo. guineo. Es guineo. <ríe> Guineo. Guineo. <laughs> okay, good. Periquito. Guineo periquito. <laughs> Let's continue now. Um, well, we have, we're going to study adverbs of frequency. We have a video for that, so please pay attention to this video about adverbs of frequency. Okay, I'm going to mute your microphones for a moment. Watch the video, please. Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to use adverbs of frequency when talking about food. Let's get started by analyzing the examples on the chart. Adverbs of frequency. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Sometimes I eat breakfast. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? Yes, I always do. Sometimes I do. No, I never do. Always. Usually. Often. Sometimes. Hardly ever. Never. Let me start by explaining what adverbs of frequency are and how we can categorize them. Adverbs of frequency 
are words that come before the verbs. And they express frequency. For example, if you would like to express that you take a shower every day, 100% of the time, that will be always, you can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I always take a shower. This means I take a shower 100% of the time. If you would like to express that you never smoke cigarettes, uh, this means 0% of the time. You can use adverbs of frequency for that. For example, I never smoke cigarettes. This means 0% of the time. The easiest way to categorize adverbs of frequency is by giving each a percentage number. So let's do just that. Always equals 100%, usually equals 80%, often equals 70%, sometimes equals 50%, Hardly ever equals 25%, never equals 0%. Next, I would like to explain how to use them and in which order to use them. Typically, we will use adverbs of frequency after the pronoun or subject. We can follow this formula. Subject plus adverb of frequency plus the verb plus some kind of complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples. I always eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is always. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. The subject is I. The adverb of frequency is sometimes. The verb is eat. And the complement is breakfast. I would like to show an exception to this rule. If you notice the example, sometimes I eat breakfast. With the adverb of frequency sometimes, you may put that at the beginning, just like you see on the example. Sometimes I eat breakfast. You may also say, I sometimes eat breakfast. Just like we've learned in this class by putting the adverb of frequency after the subject. And finally, you may say the following. I eat breakfast sometimes. You can put the adverb of frequency at the end of your sentence. The last point that I would like to touch in this class is how to form questions and answers about frequency. Let's start by understanding how to form questions. You may follow this formula, auxiliary do or does, plus the subject, plus ever, plus the verb, plus some kind of complement. Let's take a look at the example question now. Do you ever have fish for breakfast? The uh, auxiliary verb is do. After that, we have the subject, you. Then we will add ever. Next, we will add the, a verb, half. Finally, we need to add a complement, fish for breakfast. And we can answer this type of question in different ways. For example, Yes, I always do 
sometimes I do. No, I never do. Now is your time to practice by giving lots of examples of your own. I would like for you to think about food, particularly the type of food you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and express how often you eat this type of food. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. I I never drink coffee for dinner. I hardly ever eat fish for lunch. I never eat fish for breakfast. After you finish this activity, please share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Well, let's take a look to this grammar here. And let's practice, please. Turn on your microphones and let's practice these sentences. Okay, so we're going to combine here. Repeat, please. I always eat breakfast. I always eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I usually eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I often eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast. I eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. I hardly ever eat breakfast. Hardly ever. Hardly, 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 hardly ever. I never eat breakfast. I never eat breakfast. Okay, always represents 100% of the times. Usually, like 80%. Often, 70%, sometimes 50%, hardly ever 25%, and never 0%, okay? And also, um, well, usually this is the structure, okay? This is the structure for sentences with adverbs. This is the order. First, the subject. Okay? In this case, is I. <laughs> then next, the adverb of frequency. Okay? In this case, we have always and sometimes. Next, the verb. And finally, the complement. So that's the order for these sentences. Commonly, the frequency adverb is before the verb, okay? Frequency adverb is before the verb. But we have an exception with sometimes. Sometimes can be at the beginning or before the verb or at the end of the sentence. Okay, sometimes. 
So we we can say sometimes I eat I eat breakfast. I sometimes eat breakfast or I eat breakfast sometimes. So this is the exception to the rule. The rest we are going to use this order, this structure. Okay? Okay. Any question here? No. No teacher. Hola? No. One one the question. Uh-huh. And no no. No entiendo, no understand, and the percentage or the always usual of saying sometimes. El porcentaje. Sí, no los entiendo. Okay. Always is one hundred percent of the times. Okay. I always drink coffee. Always. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, always. Okay? Okay. Usually is not always, so it's a little bit less. Poco menos. Okay? Uh, for example, I usually uh, it eggs not always but usually okay. maybe monday tuesday no wednesday yes okay thursday no okay usually but not always okay. often is a man todavía Es un po representa un poco menos de frecuencia. Sometimes había menos. Un, un 50% of the times. Ok. And hardly ever es casi nunca. Casi nunca. Hardly ever. So, uh -huh. so 25%. Oh, no, no, not too much. And never zero. Ok. I never eat fish for breakfast. Example? Never? I never eat fish for breakfast. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Never. I never... Uh, what, what else? I never eat berenjena. I never eat berenjena, eggplant. No, I never eat no. that again. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Never bring. Okay. Ya lo entendí. Okay. Good. Gracias. And now we have questions. Okay, we have questions. How do we form questions? Is Here. there is time? Sorry. Is time. It's time, really? My goodness, you're right. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, uh, there is an exercise here that I want you to practice. It's in WhatsApp already. Uh, you have the adverb. Okay, the only thing you are going to do is Write the adverb in the correct position. Re write the sentence one more time using the adverb. For example, he listens to the radio and you have to use often. He often listens to the radio. Okay. And here, the sentences are not in order. You have to put the sentence in the correct order. Okay, you have... Okay. All the words. Okay. No le van a agregar nada. Solo ordenarlo. Ordenarlo. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do, do that, please. And see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night.
and good see night. you tomorrow. Okay, good take night. care. I see you tomorrow.